Hello family and friends. Today we we're going to uh, plant some impatience and do an ivy transplant. See this pot here by the street has ivy spilling over the side. We has mandevils in there, two different colors. We have white and nice red uh, mandevils in here. A quarter line at the top. But as you go around, you can see that the ivy doesn't go all the way around. Now, it's good to, to show the container, but we just want a little more uh, ivy on this one so that you can still uh, see the, the container and have the, con the uh, texture of the ivy. And on the porch here, these, these planters are loaded with ivy. So we're just gonna transplant some of, some of the ivy from these planters and uh, put out on the street. She was removing the pansies from the fall. Yeah, you could just see, and on this one, the, uh, the ivy just completely covers the container. It completely covers the container, so we're going to take some of this out and put on the other planter that I was looking at earlier. See, we have uh, the Majestic Giants uh, pansies in here, but their season is over. They still look good, but they only have a few more days, and I don't want this to be looking, I don't want this to look bad while I'm gone. So on this visit, I'm just going to go ahead and switch it out. She loosens the roots. So what I like to do is have my holes ready before I even uh, dig out the ivy that I'm going to transplant. Okay, now this looks easier than it actually, wasn't that easy to do, I uh, already had it dug out. Okay, we'll pull these out. Okay, we'll be pulling out ivy from this container. Let's take a little walk. And putting it in here. I already have my hole ready. And it's already been fertilized. As you see, we have a different ivy on here, over here. We have uh, the English ivy with the uh, variegated on the outside edge of the leaf. And on this side is where we want to continue the ivy going around, but I'll have a space and two strands of ivy. Well, I'll shake a little uh, shake and feed in to uh, fertilize the plants. And you can see that the ivy is, is filled in on this side, but yet it still leaves openings to where you can see the detail on the planter. The container. When transplanting your ivy, you want to dig deep and get as many roots as possible so that when it's in its new container, it's ready to intake the nutrients and water that it needs. A few flowers up here that look stretched, uh, stressed out, just pinch those off. And other than that, this container looks great. So we have 
transplanted the ivy. And, and put in some impatience on the top of these pots. Even after removing some of the ivy, this one looks like I haven't even touched it. It's nice and full, and you can still see the container. Thank you for watching.